In today's video, I'm going to give you a full beginner's guide on how to use the Shopify Marketplace Connect app. So this app is going to allow you to connect to some of the top marketplaces such as Amazon, eBay, Walmart and Etsy. And it means you can manage it all inside of Shopify. This is a really good app and the first thing you want to do is go ahead and press install. And once you've pressed install, it should go ahead and add it to our Shopify store. It might take a second to load. We just want to go ahead and press install here and it should be ready for us to go any second now. So first thing you're going to see here is your different multi channels you can add. Very simple to connect them. You've got Amazon, you've got eBay, you've got Etsy and you've got Walmart. So you can go ahead and just click connect account and what this will do is it will open up the connector window. So first of all you're going to have to select the marketplace you're on, press next. And for me the pop-up just got blocked so make sure you allow the uh, pop-up to happen. So we'll try this again, press next, and it should open up onto your Amazon Seller Central and it will ask you to sign into your account. Do that, follow through the steps and you should be good to go and connect your account up. Now with each of the different connections, you're going to have some connection checklists here. So first of all, I'm just going to show you the Etsy one, which we'll press next here, and it's going to go ahead and sync your shipping profiles from Etsy over to here. This may take a few minutes, so just wait for this to happen and you can refresh this every now and then just to check the process. So now that we've gone ahead and actually linked this up, we can go over to settings and go over to the connection that we've just added. And we're going to want to go ahead and link an Etsy listing to a Shopify product. So the way we can do this is we can go ahead and we can click on this here, for example. And this is the eBay listing here. And on the right side here, we want to go ahead and select the product that it correlates to. Now, if you haven't added the product, you can go into products on Shopify and you go to add product and you can go ahead, and just put a title in it and you can go ahead, and add the media just like that. Now it might take a second to load to actually go ahead and find the product to link it up to, but you can just click it here and you can just go ahead and link that. If not, you can skip linking and that is just, um, you can just skip that optionally. Once we've done that, we can go over to the checklist again and we can select the shipping. We can just press next, press next on that. We can sort out the return policy. Again, we can press next on that. And we can go ahead and select what we want to link. We can select whichever products we would like to here. So now this is probably ready to go. And we can go over to our listings here. And once we've connected them up, the listings should show up here just like that. We can go over to mapping here and this will basically allow you to basically map which things get pulled across. So if we have status you can pick um, a value. SKU code for this you could put use SKU. Quantity you could find quantity. I don't think it's on there. Um, location GB. Price that's not on there. Title also not on there. Description not on there. And category not on there. Those ones don't link across. But you can press save on that once you've mapped it. Now anytime that you get a order from one of your connected marketplaces, it should show up here in the orders tab and this will allow you to see what its um, Shopify corresponding order is, what marketplace it came from, all that kind of stuff. And we can go here to the import settings and we can go over back to this section here and if we just go through next on these we can go ahead and select again which we want there just like that and we can view settings here this is the overall settings we can also change the selector up here onto different um, marketplace next up we want to go to the FAQs and on the FAQ section, this is going to tell you a lot of information about all the different processes going on. But that's basically how you use the app. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below that helped.